I can weigh in for the police department. Uh, I believe one of the biggest challenges we've had, and uh, been fortunate enough I can speak about this, is I spent more than half my career uh, dealing with youth in some aspect or another, three positive social programs, uh, building out the cadet program, as well as, as leading the charge from 21 to 22 for our SROs to scale down process. What's the SRO? What's that? Uh, the school resource officer. Uh, so, I think one of the biggest things is, is that we have to give the kids a voice. Um, in 2021, I believe it was, uh, I put on a youth summit for Chief Carter because we brought 100 youth. A lot of people didn't think we'd get 100 youth to come out from various places all over the city. We didn't give them money, we didn't offer them anything. We offered them a voice to come out, be heard. What do you want to see differently in your community? And too often we sometimes forget that. Too often we tend to talk at them instead of with them. And uh, through my work, I realized that, that the conversation has to be had in unison, right? It has to be an uh, ebb and flow. We got to give and we also got to receive. And so, and so much there. But sometimes it's the messages. The messages turn off the kids, so we can't hear the messages. Um, sometimes it's the way we deliver the message. It's a new generation. So we have to talk in their language so that they can understand what we're saying. We also have to hear what they're saying. Um, so I think one of the most important things that we can do going forward is host more spaces like this, you know, uh, more uh, opportunities like JoJo's um, uh, Community uh, Center, and then just be able to just hear what the youth are saying, what they need, and uh, kind of work with them in those spaces. Thank you. I want to address the truancy piece. We have a high rate of truancy in these public schools. And we have to look at the root causes first before we can come up with a solution. Some of our children are not going to school because they're afraid to go to school. Our schools are somewhat not safe because of gangs and because of fighting. And so they tend to stay home because it's a safer place. Some of our children are not going to school because academically they're deficient. And so they would rather have their classmates Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, so let me start over. I'm going to address the issue about truancy. And in order to address truancy, we have to look at what's causing truancy. Some of our children are not going to school because they're afraid to go to school. There are gangs in schools, and there's fighting in schools, there's drugs in schools, and so they would rather stay home with a safer place. Some of our children are not going to school because of academic deficiencies. They're struggling academically, so they would rather you know that they failed school because they didn't go to school, as opposed to being thought to be a fool. So they stay home so that they won't be clowned, if you will. And then you have some that are grieving. They're grieving from the loss of their friends and peers. And then you have those who have become lazy because when we were in the pandemic, they were on computers and they went to school a half a day and they've taken that same lackadaisical attitude to school. Now I'm gonna put it on the teachers too because I'm a retired teacher. If the classroom setting is not challenging, then the children are gonna find themselves bored and not coming to class. What about and they can miss three days of class and then come back and take the makeup work in one day. So in their mind, it's like, why do I need to go the whole time when I can come and do makeup in one day and, and miss the other three days? But then we also have the parents. Yeah. We need Big Mama, y'all. We need Big Mama back home because Big Mama was there to help us raise the kids. And Big Mama would come with her house coat and her rollers in her head and let you know that she was there to reprimand you for acting up in school. But it takes a whole village. It takes home, it takes school, and it takes the church. And here at St. John, we're trying so many things to reach our youth. We have Sister Cherie Hyatt, wave your hand, and she's with our youth, and we have Sister um, DeGroat and Sister Johnson who works with our children. And we have activities for our young adults as well where we're trying to reach them body, mind, and spirit. We also are thinking about doing an after-school program, right, where we can do tutoring with our students oh. and help them to reach the level that they need in order to be successful in school. So those are some of the things we can do for truancy. But we also can reward them when they do well. So in the church, we can recognize them when they have a wonderful report card, as well as their attendance. And you know what they say, that if you continue to reward people when you're doing well, they will continue to do that. And so that's what we want to do here. Thank you everyone for your answers. I also want to add, 
to the community. Sometimes it's about what you're showcasing.